Hello and welcome everybody. My name's Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com and I'm continuing our psychic interview series and today I'm going to be talking to our psychic Andrew. Hello and welcome Andrew. Hello Rose, how are you up there? Wonderful, it's great seeing you again. You know you've been here over five years, I think it might even be over six years at Absolute Soul Secrets, is that right? It has, yes, it has been some time now. Yeah, the time really flies. And Andrew's been doing a lot of readings on the platform and Andrew specialises in clairvoyance and spiritual healing. And uh, we're going to talk about spiritual healing because it's really needed at the moment with uh, so much going on in the world. There is so much stress, pressure and burden that people are carrying these mm. days. So tell us a little bit about spiritual healing and how it can help people, Andrew. Spiritual healing is basically a transfer of energy. Where you put your thought, energy follows. Yes. And what I am doing is basically concentrating my thought to relay healing, not from myself, because if I did that, I'd be able to do it once and then I'd just be drained. Yes. I do it in connection with a group of Ascended Masters that I work with, and I can just keep doing it, keep doing it over and over. And mm -hmm. whoever is at the other end of the telephone line or wherever they are gets the benefit of that healing if they give me permission. So you work with a group of Ascended Masters, like so it's a group, and do you have the names? Like do they give you their names? Do you know who you're working with? Yes, they certainly do. Um, there are a number of doctors. There are uh, a, a number of spiritual healers. There are a group of doctors that uh, were working uh, over in Europe probably about 100 years ago, and they've actually started this um, astral hospital that <laughs> wow. I was a part of. It, it, it is a hospital, and I was fortunate enough to come into contact with them when I was over in Brazil, and there is evidence. I mean... Uh, when they do uh, uh, um, an operation on you, people have gone to the trouble of having an X-ray and they can see stitches. They can see scars that have been uh, healed in those X-rays. Wow. Um, in this particular place, the astral and the physical planes come down very close to each other so that they actually intersect. It is a place of very high energy, the same as Lourdes, the same as Medjugorje, the same as a lot of these other holy places around the world. And there I actually met a person who I worked with many lifetimes ago, and he actually asked if I would like to be part of their healing community, their healing group in this lifetime, mm. to which I said yes. And... Since that time, my healing abilities have literally accelerated. My clairvoyant abilities have grown. My mediumship uh, abilities have also grown. So it is literally a two-way connection with the masters, feeding me information, feeding me a healing energy, and there is another two-way connection from me to the client, to whoever it is that I'm talking to or whoever it is that I'm with, either face-to-face -face or whether that person is uh, at the other end of the world. Yes. Yeah, well, it certainly is true that the spiritual reality uh, can cause physical realities. I had a lot of experiences uh, in my 20s, my early 20s, where I would have marks on my hands. I'd wake up in the morning and I'd have a cross on my hand or something yeah. like that and I'd just be you know, amazed, you know, when I was, say, 22, you know, I didn't have a lot of experience, didn't understand all yeah. of these things that were happening. But um, spiritual healing is really important for releasing blockages. So, yeah, could you talk a little bit about blockages and uh, how people can help themselves with their own blockages? The simplest way people can help themselves, and I'll explain it this way, um, a mother has an emotional connection with her child and a mother knows when there's something wrong with her child, even if that child is over in London, halfway around the world, self-healing works in a similar way. 
the way that connection is made is simply by sending unconditional love from the mother to the child or from one person to the other. You put that person in your mind's eye and you send them unconditional love. Unconditional love is a neutral energy. It's yeah. not cold, mental and calculating. It is mm -hmm. not hot, emotional and controlling. It is mm -hmm. literally a neutral energy that will dissolve and dissipate blocks that people have, will help them overcome whatever resistances they have to whatever it is that they, um, that they are, are learning. Mm. And it can literally be given to anyone so long as you have their permission. Then it is a healing. If you don't have their permission, then basically it just becomes a blessing. Yes. A blessing you can send to anyone at any time, but a healing you need that person's permission for because a person may not may not want that healing. A, yes. a classic example is the life of Brian where the beggar was jumping around saying, oh, Jesus healed me, and now <laughs> I haven't got a trade. I haven't got an income. Yes, there's always a payoff, isn't there? If, if um, you know, you yes. have an illness or you have a block about something, it's like it, there's a, even if it's only just a little bit, uh, there's a little bit of energy exchange, a bit of a payoff there in having that, even if it's just that it's something from the past that you know and at least it's the devil you know rather than the unknown. Mm -hmm. Yes, quite fascinating really. Uh, and tell me how many healing sessions does it take for someone to be healed? One. Oh, <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, I will clarify that, Rose. It takes one healing for the energy to come through. Now, because of that person's resistance, you can influence your own healing. I don't want that. I don't understand that. I'm afraid of that. That will slow it down. And so you may need subsequent healings to overcome that person's resistance. But the effects, one, you only need one transfer of energy for it to take effect. And people, uh, people have uh, said to me that have called me up that have taken on the healings, the, 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 the distant healings that I, um, uh, I give them. They, even the people that haven't believed, they have all said to me without one negative comment, they've all said something has happened, something has changed. Mm. I didn't believe this could happen. Oh, but something has changed. I still don't believe it, but something has changed. Mm. Well, you did some healings for me um, a few years ago, I remember, and I could feel it. I could feel the energy coming in, and it was like a source of comfort, uh, like warmth and like a genuine sort of concern. That was the, the energy I picked up around it. And, uh, yeah, and it was like a sort of little bubbles in my chest what I could feel physically when it was happening well well thank you for that Rose I'm glad I could be of help and I'm always glad to be of help um, with your clients uh, with the people I come into contact with because we are going through the change a yes. change is happening now we are literally lifting our energies and some of the people that I talk to a lot of the people I talk to their energies are rising so quickly, they literally do not understand what is happening. Their heart is expanding so quickly, they feel they're having a heart attack. Yes. They go to their doctor. The doctor says, I can't find anything. It must be psychosomatic. Mm. That all they need is a little bit of reassurance to say it is just a rapid expansion. There is nothing wrong with you physically. You are literally lifting your energy. You are lifting your consciousness. And it is great to be part of this work at this time, to be able to interact with people that are expanding and opening up. Yes, it's a fabulous time in that respect. Mm. Thank you so much for talking to me today, Andrew. It's been a really interesting chat and spiritual healing is really a very valuable adjunct uh, to your health. Of course, if people do have any medical problems, they should always speak to a medical professional. Uh, but spiritual healing is a way forward. It's very helpful, I find. Thanks again, and I'll catch you again soon, Andrew. Thanks, Rose, for this opportunity to have a chat with you and your clients. And I look forward to talking to people 
online when I'm rostered on. So yeah. thank you, Rose, and we'll talk again soon. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.